All right. Today, I am pretty much shooting off the hip because of an event that happened to me this morning. So, in order to get it out of me and pretty much load it on to you all, I decided to go ahead and make a video today. I don't really have a title. I'm just pretty much going off of evidence. Evidence is key in any type of accusation that comes up against anyone. Now, for today, I will be putting ECPI college on my chopping block of um, pretty much discrimination. Now, it could just be the person that I talk to, but I look at it like this. Um, you, This lady was trained by someone. You know what I'm saying? She's answering the phones. I'm pretty sure it wasn't her first day on the job. Um, I'm not going to lie to y'all. She sounded like a white woman. That was in between her late 40s, late 50s, in between the little bridge area. So I applied, well, not applied, I basically applied for information about the cyber, um, cyber security program on the website. So that's when they said they'll call and have someone talk to you about the program. Now, in my mind, when I went up there and I applied and specifically checked off the cyber uh, security program, that's what I wanted because that's what I wanted to do because they have other programs, of course, of course, of course, a horse is a horse, of course, of course, all the time. But that's what I wanted to do because one, I have a lot of um, computer technology background. Um, I don't know about y'all schools, but in high school, I um, we had a program of computer technology, and I took the class for two years. Not one class for two years, of course. The course was split up into, I want to say, four sections. Computer 1, Computer 2, and 3 and 4. The first two years, I took Computer 1 and 2, and then uh, 12th grade, I took 3 and 4. Um, and basically, you're learning how to do spreadsheets. You're learning how to do data points. You're learning how to do chart graphs, you're learning how to enter data, you're learning the computer terminology, you're learning about the computers in and outs, you're learning basically um, what you would need to work in a technological field. Um, in college, not, was it this time? It was this year, but not the, no, it wasn't this year, it was last year. Um, I took a computer understanding class or something other like that um it which pertained to the same exact thing I got the whole book it was basically the ins and outs of a computer how they work how to put in data how to do this how to do slides how to do whatever so i pretty much have a lot of information about computer technology and nowhere to put it so in my eyes i'm like i learned all this shit i might as well work at a place where i can use what i know and pretty much when I said work, I want a career. I'm about to be 33. I'm tired of working a job. Jobs don't get you nowhere. A job will get you nowhere for years. And how to formally explain that, I'm going to break it down like this. My first ever real steady full-time job, I made... I know I worked for like seven twenty five an hour the first year, and then I got a raise, so it went up to seven fifty. No, yeah, it went up seven fifty, and then I became a cook at this healthcare facility. So that's eight dollars an hour or whatever. I worked there for three years, three, four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four years. And um, crazy thing about it is, even though my pay went up, even though my hours went up, because in the beginning I was actually part time. But I was working overtime because I had it like that. I ain't had no kids. But once I started having my son, I had to pretty much get on a set schedule of just being full time. No overtime. No extra days. Fuck that. I'm not coming in. Don't call me. I mean, you know, every now and again, I would come in if I could, you know, move some shit around and get in there, you know, whatever. But um, while I was 
when tax time would come around and I would do my taxes or whatever. Back then, I ain't know shit about no damn taxes. I didn't understand it. I just knew I had to do it. So I did it or whatever. And um, bringing it to 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 the present, I did my taxes or whatever. And I started thinking about this shit. Like, how the fuck? Because I know for a fact that was the most money that I ever made when I was working at that healthcare facility. The most uh, uh, reoccurring payments or deposits or whatever. The, the highest, eh, it wasn't the highest pay I ever had. But anyway, it was still the most reoccurring amounts of money that I had ever brought in. Now, I do recall making about maybe a little over 14 a year. But then I got to thinking about that as well. When I did my taxes back then and from when I did my taxes now, I'm pretty much getting back the same amount of money. I can, I'm, I'm going to say this. I don't know if I can trust y'all like that, but I'm going to trust y'all like that just to further push my point. I've never made more than 5000 back from my taxes. Ever. Never. With children, without children. I've only made less than $5,000 from my taxes, which is the reason why I want a career. Like it shows that working a job, like I used to bust my ass at these jobs. Like, oh my God, cooking, being a cook should be a career. I shouldn't, honestly, I look at it like this. If you got the chops, no pun intended, but if you got the chops, if you got the pork chops and you're not getting no complaints, you're not getting, um, you don't have to be trained to be a cook. You know, I mean, pretty much I know how to cook. You know, I've been cooking since I was seven years old. So, um, I look at people that's like that, that can actually get into a cook's position. A grill, I've been a grill cook as well. I've been a short order cook. I've been a fry cook. Um, when you have those credentials and they see that you have those credentials, I feel like you should be top tier. I feel like you should be top tier. You should get top pay. But I don't know if it's just where I live, which is another reason why I want to get the hell out of the South or what. But they give you pennies. The most that I've ever gotten paid to cook was $8. But opposed to the hours that I worked, I'm pretty much getting paid the exact same thing. I'm better than that. I'm worth more than that. I am. I'm worth more than that. I used to cook for over a uh, hundred at the most, like between 100 and 120 people. Sometimes twice. Because I've been a morning cook in a different type of healthcare facility as well. Sometimes twice. Even when I worked there, it was still the same amount of money. For this, matter of fact, not even the same amount of hours. I used to be there a whole, sometimes two hours longer than my scheduled uh, time to leave or whatever because. They were short staff or the equipment would break down. It was a very old kitchen. You had to strategically work around. And that's another thing. Being a cook, you have to be very strategic. Very strategic. You have to be great on time. You have to be sanitary. You have people's lives in your hands. And if you give a fuck, you have to pay close, close, close attention to that stuff. You really, really do. And hopefully a cook will care enough to... You know what I'm saying? Not shoot your food out just because you want it fast. No, honey. We got to cook this shit. We got to cook this food because I do not want you getting sick on my dime. Because if you get sick on my dime, I'm getting fired. Not you. I'm going to get fired. I'm going to have to pay for something. I'm going to possibly get sued or whatever. Or I could be the reason why the company gets sued and then they fucking fire me. Like, no. And I look at it like this. I'm too good to keep working a damn job. I value myself that much. I value my children that much to realize, I mean, even before now, you know, I've tried to apply for career jobs. You know what I'm saying? No avail. I don't know why. I'm a high school graduate. I've never been arrested. I've never been pulled over. I've never stolen anything for my jobs. I've never hurt anyone. You know what I'm saying? I have a, an impeccable record, like. For a black woman in the South, like a young black woman at that, I've never been in trouble for anything. Even in school, never been in trouble. Never, I got into a little tiff or whatever, but that was because someone was bothering me. And I was um, pretty much standing up for myself. Um, but yeah, I don't understand. And a lot of people, they kill me when they always talk about there's no such thing as systematic racism. 
I am the epitome example of systematic racism. Yes, me, me, me. I'm going to talk about me today because why not me? Why not me? If I go through life and I do everything in the correct order, the way I'm supposed to do it, why am I not where I should be in life? One prime example, I'm going to get back to the ECPI thing. But one prime example, I think I spoke about this before, but I'm going to bring it up again. When I was going to graduate from high school, I applied to North Carolina A&T in Greensboro, Goldsboro, one of those boroughs. And like I said, my grades were pretty much average. I had a B average. And um, I was in the band, which my goal was to go there and be in their band and be a golden delight. Yes, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? And just, I can't remember what exactly I wanted my field of study to be. But I, if I'm remembering correctly, it was in criminal justice. Because there's something about criminal justice that's just, it's just with me. It's in me. I justice the justice system all of that shit i want to know about it more i want to learn about it more i want to help people i want to help people i want to help children i want to help um because i see so many things happen that's just not fair i'm i'm a big fan of fair that's not fair if something's not fair i'm going to point it out like that's not cool that's not fair you know what I'm saying? That's not, you know what I'm saying? I've never been above over anyone or felt like anyone was lower than me, but fair is fair. I don't give a damn if you're a white lady, if if a white lady and a black lady is arguing, if the black lady started the argument, should that, you know what I'm saying? And they feel like they're getting the best of the white lady. Like, ma'am, that's not fair. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have anything to do with black and white in that situation when it comes to being fair. But as I said, um, I was supposed to, I did everything I was supposed to do or everything I thought that I was supposed to do. I filled out the application to my best ability for the information that I knew um, and sent it off. They, maybe about a week or two later, they sent me a letter back saying that I wasn't accepted because of my father's, father's, um, not employment record, but my father's, basically his income. Something about my father didn't make enough money for me to go there, which I feel like is bullshit because if you're going to send me that letter, also send me information of how I could independently, because at the time where I was applying for school, I was 18. I graduated. Was I already 18 when I graduated? Because my birthday is in August. I graduated in July. No, I graduated. I graduated in June. I was 17. That may have been the issue, but yet and still, they didn't send me no information. They didn't call me and say, hey, why don't you apply for a Sally Mae um, grant? Why don't you qualify for a certain type of grant, this grant, 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 so you can get to school and so you can, you know what I'm saying, have a career and flourish. They didn't say nothing. They didn't tell me shit. So I felt in my mind, okay, I can't go to this college and this is honestly the only college that I want to go to. So fuck it. I ain't going to college. I'll just go work. I'll take step two of the program. I'll just go work. And since then, that's all I've been as a worker. Realizing my self-value now, I feel like I kicked myself in the head because I should have should have um, pushed harder. You know what I'm saying? But it kind of broke my dreams because that's what I wanted to do. And I feel like, shit, like I did what I was supposed to do, but I was left hanging. So... Working on working with my own devices, I just was like, I guess this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm just supposed to work now. Now, bring it back to the present because I already spoke about how much money I made and all that shit. Like, that's real shit. Like, the shit, working is not doing it. And you could say, like, well, just get a different kind of type of job and all that shit. Like I said, I worked in a medical facility cooking for patients, getting paid one digit, one digit salaries. I mean, not salaries, but basically one digit dollar amounts an hour. It really didn't matter. It really didn't matter whether it was $7, $8, never nine. Even though I worked there for years and supposed to get a, 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 a um, pay increase every three months, did not happen. Didn't happen. And like I was trying to tell my manager is the reason why I left. Is because I'm only making enough money to pay my bills. And that's it. Save. Who the fuck can save? When you have rent. When you have a child that, that you have to pay daycare for so you can go to work. 
I was basically working just to go to fucking work. That's it. Vacation, want no damn vacation. At one point, they would get to the end of the year and they would say we could buy back our vacation time or basically sell it back to the company. Every time that it was time to do that, I had vacation time. Except for when I got had my son, I always had vacation time to sell back. And it wasn't a lot, granted. You know, maybe about $50 worth, but... I always had time because I didn't have time to take a vacation. Number one, I was the main cook. And number two, what the fuck am I going to do with vacation time and I ain't got no damn extra money? My money went to the rent man. It's shit like that. And a lot of people wonder why black people are always so ornery. Why um, most black people, I'll say some black people do have career jobs. And the ones that don't have career jobs, why they're so ornery, why they're so mad, why they don't take no shit. Because they don't have time to just relax because they're working just to work. And when you come to that realization that you're spending your time for someone else, it will make you ornery and piss you off and all that shit. You damn right. You goddamn right. You're going to be mad all the time or upset or whatever the fuck. And yeah, I know I said I was going to quit smoking and I actually have. But today, this lady pissed me off so damn bad. I'm going to get to the story. Don't worry. So. I applied yesterday. And I got a call from them today, this morning, eight o'clock this morning. So conversation goes a little bit like this. Hello, Lamisha, which my name is Lamisha. It is a predominantly black name that my mother made up. And, um, <laughs> oh shit. But anyway, um, she asked me first thing out of her mouth. She never said, well, I, it's cool that you're uh, interested in the cybersecurity program because obviously we're going to fucking need some cybersecurity, apparently, because Russia is the top kings and queens of fucking hacking. She didn't say that. She asked me, why was I interested in cybersecurity? So I spoke with her. Well, I told her about basically the same thing. I just told y'all about how I chose to take computer uh, technology classes, how I chose to take a, a, a different type of computer class when I was in college. And I pretty much have most of the information down pat. It's just I can't do anything with it because I don't have a degree. You know what I'm saying? You need a degree around these parts to qualify for any fucking thing. It doesn't matter how long you've done it or how long you've seen it or how long you talked about it. I look at it like this. It's stupid for a motherfucker to need a degree to um be a child sitter or whatever when you have the credentials. I can see if it's a person that's just maybe like 17, 18, 19 or whatever and they don't have any children, don't have no life experience around kids. Yeah, you go, you know, but a person that's that has children or is a certain type of age and have grown up children and all that shit and ain't never lost one somewhere in the sea of Tuscaloosa or some shit. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Credentials. What the fuck is up with credentials? Why do you need to go to why do you need to go to school for every fucking thing? There's some shit you don't need just like being being a cook. In order for me to get top pay, I have to be a chef. Bitch, I know how to cook already. I know how to cook. I've learned damn near everything I needed to know about julienne, um, certain types of sauces and all that shit from watching Paula Dean, watching Emerald, watching fucking, I don't watch Gordon Ramsay because I feel like he's a tad bit racist. Um, um, you know, James, you know, all the people that did go to fucking school for that shit. I watched them. Jacques Torres and all them, all of them. I watched that shit religiously as a child. And growing up, I used the same shit, learning from my grandma, learning from my other grandma. You know what I'm saying? Certain shit that I just know. Why the fuck do I need to go to school in order for me to get $10 or $11 or 12 hours an hour? Mind you, paying them to teach me way more than I'm going to learn uh, earn as a chef. Shit's dumb to me. But I understand, which is why I call it ECPI. But anyway... Why do you want to, why are you interested in cybersecurity? Blase, blase, computer technology for four years. Um, what else did that bitch say to me? She was basically being condescending. Everything, she basically asked me, why this, why that? And she said also, um, she asked me in a sense of, well, what else are you interested in? I said, well, I did go to school for a short period of time for paralegal and law studies. And she said, well, we, you know, we have a law something some shit that I did not sign up for. I don't want that. 
you guys are advertising for cybersecurity programs, I would like to do the cybersecurity program. Yet again, another diversion into something else. She said, and then she asked me an open-ended question. She said, um, would you like to get a degree or would you like a certificate? I said, oh, verbatim. I remember what I said at this time. I said, oh, I didn't know you all offer certificates. She said, we don't. So I hung up the phone on this bitch. After her kind of being so condescending towards me for three minutes, I'm like, bitch, I'm not about to sit up because I'm this close to being ignorant. I'm this close to being LaMisha. Misha's cool. Misha's okay. Misha can, mm, Misha can take a lot on her back. But LaMisha, that bitch is crazy. And it takes a lot to get LaMisha to come out from the back of me. Like, LaMisha's back here. Misha's in the front. Everybody meets Misha first. But love me shit, when that bitch starts crawling up my skull and starts climbing into my mouth, I can't stop that hoe. Can't stop her. She's crazy, and I don't like dealing with her a lot of the times, which is why I bring my representative Misha to the to the front table, because she's more relaxed. She has, you know what I'm saying, patience for, for bullshit. Love Misha don't. So, um, yeah, the bitch, she thought she was talking to Lamisha, Misha, but she, she was about to meet Lamisha. So I just hung up the phone. I did not say goodbye. I did not feel like that bitch needed any type of um, niceness out of me because she was literally telling me, bitch, you're not good enough to do cybersecurity or your name is Lamisha. Why the fuck would you want to be in cybersecurity? You know what I'm saying? Don't tell me what I need for me, motherfucker. I'm telling you what I want for me. Oh yeah, that's what it was. She said, why are you interested in an ECPI program? I said, well, I would like a, like to have a career. You know, I'm pretty much tired of working a job. I, I would like a career. And she said, hmm, bitch, what? What? Anyway, so after I hung up, and I knew she was going to call back. I knew it. I felt it in my spirit that this bitch was going to call me back. And I honestly thought that she was going to apologize. But when she called back, she said, oh, it seems like we got disconnected. And I literally cut her off from whatever the fuck she was about to say. And I said, ma'am, look, you were being very condescending towards me. And I don't feel comfortable talking to you. Now, they say all of these fucking um, 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 conversations are supposed to be recorded and all that shit for quality insurance and training purposes. Well, bitch, you about to be recorded on some real hood shit real quick because I don't like how you were talking to me. I don't like how you were talking down to me. I don't like how you were treating me like I wasn't worthy enough to work in your fucking or be in your fucking cybersecurity program or none of that shit. Like, I don't like that shit. You don't know what the fuck I have or what I do or who I am. I haven't given you my social security number for you to look me up. Bitch, all you saw was that my name was LaMisha. That's all you saw, that my name was LaMisha, and I was interested in working in y'all little precious cybersecurity program. But let me tell you one thing. The motherfuckers that supposedly ran into the Empire State Building or the Twin Towers or whatever, them motherfuckers was asking questions about working in the um, security sector, and nobody said shit to them. They let them do it. They let them do it. Not even Americans. I'm a fucking American. And I'm being questioned on why I want to potentially help America. What kind of bullshit is this? But everybody want to, there's no such thing as systematic racism. You ain't have no racism in America. Bullshit. Because you're judged on your name. You're judged on your fucking name. And if there was like some type of career Facebook and, and they, it, it was a picture of my face and I had a different name like Butterflies123, I still wouldn't be able to do it. Because of this, because of this, all of this brown shit, not brown shit, but I'm just upset a little bit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, don't count people out that you feel like you can't trust. You feel you can't trust, but you don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know what I've learned. You don't know what I know. What you mad because you didn't take the fucking program and you answering phones for ECPI instead of being a damn student at ECPI? The fuck? Does and 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 people all people also kill me with the fact oh black people black people are lazy black people don't want to do stuff and I hate when motherfuckers even black people say shit like that black people never do this and black people never do that you don't fucking know what black people are trying to do you don't know it's plenty of motherfuckers that them apply for good career having jobs and were torn down or said no to. For little small municipal reasons. 
Something small to them is big to the next person. I don't understand. I just don't fucking understand. The want and the need for jobs in this country alone. And they claim black people don't want to work certain jobs, so they hire immigrants to do it. That's not true. Y'all aren't making it easy for black people to get a no, get no fucking career job. Every time they try, we get shut down. We get no. We get, mm, not right now. But I bet you if I apply to go wash some fucking toilets, I'll get that job in a second. In a fucking second. To speak again on how much I've tried, tried my best to be an up, upright uh, citizen in this fucking society. I've done damn near everything that I was supposed to do and still get a no. So how the fuck am I supposed to feel secure in this country? How? Can't get a grant for shit. I don't know why. I have no idea why. No idea why. Can't get a fucking... And they claim like people be on welfare and all that shit. I wish I can get a motherfucking welfare. You know what welfare is down here? Welfare, welfare is spending 80 hours a month searching for jobs. So you can get, for me, because I only have two children, $125 a month. What the fuck I'm going to do with $125 a month? I could spend $125 in one day. I got $125 worth of shit that I know that I need in this house right now. If I got a check right now for $125, that shit will be gone in 30 minutes. Not because of splurging. It's because there's, it, it, there's a need. There's a need. A huge need. And little bullshit like that. Like spending 80 hours a month. And I tried this shit before. And I probably got. Two months of checks. Because the. The footwork that went into it. And the. um, Because I didn't have a computer. So I would have to go to the library. Damn near every day. Um, in the cold. With my daughter. Going to the library, um, filling out applications, and a lady just telling me, look, whenever you put in your applications, just take a long time to do it. Who the fuck has that kind of time? I got a baby with me. I can't be on no damn computer for eight fucking hours. I don't get it. You can't speak ill on black people and what we are trying to do, what we need to do, and what we can do. When we are trying our damnness, we have to put capes on literally every day. Okay? Literally every day to get to a certain point where people aren't looking at us like we're less than. And just as soon as we lose that opportunity, for whatever fuck reason, because it's so much harder for a black person to give an excuse for whatever, whatever, than it is for a white person. It is. I've seen it. I've fucking seen it. We don't even want to give an excuse. It's easier to just quit than to give a fucking excuse. Because they're not going to fire us. They're not. And if they do, it has to be for a shitty ass reason. Like, if they steal out, if they catch someone stealing out the cash register or some shit like that. something. It has to be something so dire that will fuck them up from getting another job. Because if you... um. If you call out oh so many times, they're going to say you neglected your job, which shows on um, your record of basically not being reliable. But what if that person just did not have a way to work? What if that job is just so fucking far away that they couldn't just walk there? That if they did catch the bus to go there, like let's say you have a job that starts at 6 o'clock in the morning. Buses don't start running. Till 6 o'clock in the morning. At least here. That's another reason why like some of the jobs like I have to just pass up. Like I can't get that job because it doesn't work with my timeline. And plus my children don't even get on the school bus till 7, 7.30. So any jobs I would take would have to be after 7.30. Children, I would have to be home by at least 2.45. That's 8 o'clock. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. 
fucking job is open. It's, there's no job where you can just have those hours. None. And not even so much being a, a black woman or whatever, being a mother. Why aren't there certain jobs allotted, allotted for just mothers? Where we can work and get paid a reasonable pay. Doing a reasonable job. We ain't got to make more than everybody. But can we have a certain amount of hours allotted? The mother law where we can work and be able to be home for our children. Because Lord knows if you're late getting to that bus stop, they're taking your kids to the school. And then the next thing you know, CPS is coming. All because you were at work. Not somewhere at the strip club eating buffalo wings because you were at work. Something's got to change. Things just got to get better. It's like they, they're passing all these laws for bullshit, gender reassignment and all that stupid shit that ain't got nothing to do with the economy of making America better. People as an individual do not make America better. This is a corporation. America is a corporation, baby. We about jobs. We got to get these fucking jobs popping. We have to get careers popping here. That way we ain't got to worry about Russia, and we ain't got to worry about China and all that shit. We need this shit here, bruh. We need it here. And nobody wants to have that fucking conversation. Everybody wants to talk about everything else. Everything else. Except for the things that are important to uh, for us. For all of us in America. Not just a certain group of people. All of us. They claim we're going to be coming up on a, on a great reset and all that shit and all that shit. That's not going to benefit everyone. And that's how they wanted it. They don't want it to benefit everybody. They want it to benefit them. You put people in a less than quarter category and get upset because they're in a less than category. I don't understand. I don't understand. I think that's it of what I wanted to talk about and get this whole ECPI shit off of me. I kind of feel a little better, but then again, I kind of don't because it's, I'm still not getting anywhere. Still not going to get me that degree. It's still not going to get me to help America. Still not going to get it. Y'all have a good day, man. And stay up. Stay up, Eric. You know, and another thing, everybody always talking about get you a business. You make your business and all that shit. Get you a business. How can you start a business without any funds? Oh, wait, I'm supposed to give you my funds so you could teach me how to get a business that could or could not be successful. That's smart to y'all. Y'all think that's smart? I don't. I don't. I see it all the time. Get you a business on YouTube and all that. I can show you how to get a business. Pay for my Patreon. I can show you how to get a business. You could do that in an email for free. The same shit you looking at or the same documents you had, copy and paste that shit and send it out. But I got to pay you for a business that I'm still going to have to pay for to start up. You out your goddamn mind. And why are we on the subject of paying, bruh? Why are we on the subject of paying? I literally just watched a video of Dr. Umar Johnson talking about his HVAC uh, situation that got vandalized. And it looked like the damn HVAC was on the ground, just out in the ground, on the ground somewhere. For, and it was out there since la the end of last year in Philadelphia. Now, I'm guessing, you know... That this HVAC system has copper wires on the inside. Now, I'm just a regular smeggler type of bitch. Like, you know, I'm just a baby mama. But I do know that crackheads will steal copper out of a air, condi air conditioner from a church to get some money. Dr. Umar didn't know that. He's just leaving the shit outside. Couldn't figure out no other way. Couldn't put it on top of the building, on top of the school, so it can be safe. Ain't no crackheads scaling buildings. 
you know, when you get anything nice, especially in a hood, if you're a hood figure, you know what I'm saying? You know little tricks of the trade whenever you move in somewhere, move, especially if you got some nice shit, move in at the dead of night so don't nobody know what you got. Or put your shit somewhere that's inaccessible to everyone. He should have put that shit on top of the building. But it's vandalized. And so that means there are going to be more pushbacks on when he opens his school because of said reason. But, 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 he's still asking for donations. And I bet his people are still sending him donations. Tariq Nasheed got one point. Two, I think, or $1.3 million for a plot of land in L.A. for his museum six months ago. Ain't bought a damn doorknob. He's saying that the people that um, that was supposed to sell him the land or whatever sold it to someone else that wanted to make a weed dispensary and what is his name? Then your business, I think his name is then your business covered the fact that he, um, was lying. It, it's a lie. It, the, the plot in the, the area is still open for sale or whatever. And I bet Tyreek is still going to get funding. They trust these, these niggas. They trust them. And I will never understand how the shysters, how the tricksters, how the scammers, how the how the people that try to get over on people, they're up here. They soar so high. But the people that are trying their fucking best to be good, wholesome. Um, I don't know why I keep wanting to say security. That ECPI shit got on my nerves. But upstanding, upstanding citizens in America, they just get shitted on. Like, no, you work. Mm -mm. You work. You're a mother with two children. You work and spend your money on your bills only. We're only going to let these other niggas get to the top tier to be able to ask other people for money so they can sit on their ass in hotels and shit. Agents of chaos. That's it. You know, I kind of figured it out. Agents of chaos and confusion. He's talking about Pan-Africanism. The other dude's talking about we're native to this land and all that shit. Just creating a distraction for everything else that's going on in the fucking world. Because I hear that um, China and Russia is like this. And we need to be a little bit concerned about that. Because technically we need both of those countries. United States ain't importing, exporting a goddamn thing. We ain't doing shit. Reagan gave the jobs to China. For some reason, no other president after him has thought to get any of them back. That was, what, over 30, 40 years ago that Reagan was a president? None of them ever thought to get any of these jobs back. Supposedly, the American dollar is crashing. They're not talking about that either, which is why we're probably over there in Russia. Or even dealing with the whole Russia situation because Biden is supposedly dropping all these damn sanctions and that's nothing but payback on the end because we ain't got no damn money. That's the only reason why he's worried about it. That's the only reason why he cares about it. So we can get some money because we ain't got no damn money. They claim that the IRS is um, behind on um, issuing out tax refunds or whatever because they're short-staffed and because... So many people have um, done their taxes this year, which is beyond me because supposedly from what y'all were saying last year, ain't nobody had no damn jobs. I'm confused. Like, the, the, the this, it's the lying this damn people. Maybe I should start lying. I'm thinking about lying, but I'm not a good liar. That's probably one of the reasons why. I'm not a good liar. So that's probably why I ain't going to never get to the top. But I'm going to try my damnedest, though. I'm not going to let these people stop me. Every year, every year I'm going to try to better myself. Because it, I, it's worth it for me. It's worth it for my children. I am not going to be no goddamn worker for the rest of my life. My body is already torn to shit. My hands ain't no damn good from washing pots and pans and picking up big, heavy uh, trash bags and fucking... Oh, my goodness. If I told y'all the type of work that I've done, you wouldn't believe me. 
Like you're a woman and you did that. You did all that. You damn right to go home broke every fucking week. Never again. Young mama never broke again. Okay, I'm, then I'm going to change my name. Young mama never broke again. Fuck it. I'm going to figure out a way. I don't know what this way is going to be, but I'm going to figure out a fucking way to get a career. I'm not working for y'all motherfuckers no more. And then another thing, now that I think about this YouTube shit while I'm talking about Umar and Tyreek. Mm -hmm. I see what y'all about. I see how y'all suppress certain information and you let other people information come out because if I was to if I was to copy what other YouTubers are doing I would be top tier but I don't want to talk about half the shit that they want to talk about hell my life ain't even like their life I seen a video that was basically clickbait that had over a million fucking views a million and yet I put out a short about what's going on today in this life that I know people are looking up and I know people are searching for the title. Four views. Four. Why? I can't get no M's. Why not? I don't get it. Y'all be good. Stay up. Get your career. No more jobs. If you got the means and a way to have your own business, do that. Don't tell me what to do. Especially if I got to pay for some shit. Because that's just dumb. Because that's what businesses, you're supposed to be able to get business loans and all that shit. Me? Me? Been there, done that, tried that. No, they will not give sis no damn business loan. Tried it. They won't. So don't come to me saying no shit. Well, you could just... I've tried everything that you could think of, except selling ass, and I'm not doing that because this I'm just priceless. Okay, it's fucking priceless. But anyway, y'all have a good one, man. I'm out.